Hey, didn't see you there. I'm out doing my pre-trip on my trailer here and make sure everything's safe. You know the uh, pre-trip is the most important meal of the day besides what we're going to be cooking on Scotty B. So get ready for some great food. Welcome to another episode of Cooking Down the Road with Scotty B. When I say Coney dog, what comes to mind? What's the first thing that comes into your head? Is it like a pier in New York City that has carnival rides and games and you know hot dogs and whatnot? Well, the true history of the Coney dog is nothing that has anything to do with that. And I'll explain. George Todroff was the uh, founding father of the Coney Dog in Jackson, Michigan in 1913, between 1913 and 1914. And then restaurants started popping up and one of the first ones was Virginia Coney Island, right? More or less next door to Jackson Coney Island in Jackson, Michigan, near the uh, train station. And uh, coincidentally, that's where my Great, uh, my grandfather, uh, no, my great grandfather worked. So the history from 1914, which was an interesting point in history because that's when World War One started, and I think it started because they couldn't get conies over in Europe. But that's just a guess on my part. I don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. But uh, so 1914 to 1918, we had the World War One, and right about the same time. The Spanish flu, pandemic, go figure. But the Coney Islands trudged on through history, World War II, Korean conflict, so on and so forth until the present day. Um, the restaurant Todroff's was, was in business for the majority of that time, but uh, they, they finally went out of business and uh, the only remaining ones, more or less, are Jackson, Coney Island, and Virginia, Coney Island, and Andy's Pizza. So we have our list of ingredients. Uh, it's five. It's mustard, hot dogs, Coney sauce, onions, and buns, and a little bit of olive oil to get the uh, to get the party started. Uh, this is a it's a it's a passion of mine as far as this episode goes because there's so many people and restaurants out there claiming that they make conies and none of them except the ones that i've initially mentioned in jackson uh, are doing the original coney island and it is a very different hot dog so we're going to assemble one here or actually four and we're going to uh, show you how it's done. And a special shout out to Sue at Rives Quality Meats in Rives Junction, Michigan. Uh, that's where we uh, got our uh, coney sauce. And they make it daily, fresh there on the premises. And it is one of the best, actually. Um, I, I buy them by the dozen. So if, so if you go there and they're out, that's, that's my fault. Um, so, uh, and we've got uh, natural cased uh, Viennas. So any hot dog that has natural casing, it'll, it'll do. But these, the, the Kogels, uh, the Kowalskis, the Dearborn, um, even Rives uh, Quality Meats has, uh, has their own uh, versions of it as well. So um, we'll put the description for Rives Quality Meats down in the... Uh, um, the, I'm sorry, the, we'll put the website down in the uh, description for everyone to follow. And also, uh, like I say, special thanks to Sue for uh, allowing us to uh, feature her product here on this uh, episode. And let's get to it. Okay, we're going to start with our coney sauce and we're going to employ our rice cooker. And we're going to take our coney sauce and just... Pop it right in and give that some time to heat up and we'll stir it as we go. 
put the lid back on and then we'll set it for eh, 40 minutes. And we'll get that uh, started uh, simmering. We'll go ahead and set this out of the way. That way we can uh, dice up our onions next and get those ready. So when dicing up the onion, this little guy right here, down to the mincing level, and that's what makes the coney unique. It's very finely chopped onion. So we're gonna turn this To this finely minced onions ready to go on the dog. On to our next project. So we've got the four hot dogs and a little bit of olive oil and we're getting those ready and grilling those. And we'll uh, roll those over as needed. Time to turn the Hot dogs. See how they're doing. There we go. Not too bad. Just a little bit. Put it between 325 and 350. Turn the cronies over and they're getting nice and brown. Well, we've got our coney sauce piping hot. That's ready to be applied. And the dogs are almost done. Hey, I believe we're ready for the assembly. There's the buns. Dogs are going in. All right, dogs are ready. Okay, you apply the coney sauce. Good. Good covering on it. Make sure you leave room for onions. These conies require a lot of onions. Okay, pony sauce is liberally applied. So we give a good application of mustard. Right down the middle. And next, we scoop on our onions. Ever said that a pony was not messy. Okay. There you go. Two beautiful ponies ready to eat. Now, what I like to do to soften up the bun a little bit is uh, microwave them for about uh, 15 to 20 seconds and it gets a nice, soft, warm bun. So, we'll do that right now. Hey, it's time to give these beauties a try. Don't they look delicious? Yes, they do. Here we go. I'd say they're, they're not really super neat. It's 
authentic, original, truly, truly amazing. This is my, excuse me, this is my version of comfort food right here. This little guy right here. I could eat these all day. Brings back so many childhood memories for me. Anyway. Thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe and like the video and tell your tell your friends about us. Uh, we'll try and do uh, interesting recipes and keep you entertained as best we can. And uh, hopefully we'll see you back here real soon. Thanks a lot.